Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. Someone actually made a mod installer. So for those who couldn't install the mod, like you know, don't know where to put the files, stuff like that, this mod installer might be helpful for you. So the creator of the mod installer is called Specs. He reached out to me on Discord. He let me you know, try out the installer and also gave me permission to make a video about it. So shout out to you Specs. All right, I'll leave a link in the description. You can support him by buying him some coffee. Okay. So let's take a look at the mod installer. I've got it downloaded right here. It's an RAR file. So I extracted it over here into this folder. FSR3 installer version 0.10. Right now it's got an EXE and it also has the FSR3 files. So I can't distribute this file, this installer, because it does contain paid mod. So yeah, you have to get it from Luke FC's Discord at the moment. It contains like paid mod, right? So I won't be able to distribute it. So you've got this EXE. So what you need to do is open up your Steam and then add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse, go into my downloads and it's here, FSR3 installer version 0.10. And then I'm going to select the EXE. Okay. You can also do this with Lutris. I'm just using like non-Steam method. Okay, and then once you select it on your library on the left hand side, go into the gear button, properties, and I'm gonna force it into Proton Experimental to run it. Okay. So it's fairly simple to use, but uh there are some things you still need to do manually. It might get fixed later. Okay, so if you go to the about section, you can see here, it's using the 0 0.90 version of the mod. Okay, but here's a sneak preview. In a later version, you'll be able to select the version of the mod you want to use. Okay, but not on this version. This is like an earlier version. Okay, so once you're here, select the game. Let's say I do a demonstration for Marvel's Spider-Man remastered i select it here and then i need to browse for the game can't remember where my game is so let me go back to my steam it's right here so my game is here okay so it's in the compact data 37131 okay i think i have it here yeah here three six. okay so this is the the game folder okay this is the game folder um, and I don't have the mod files installed yet. So you see, we, I don't have that winmm.dll. Okay, so I need to browse for this exact location. So let's just go here. Home, deck, theme apps, compact data. Yeah, 3713. Three, okay, this one. Prefix folder, drive C, games, Spider-Man remastered, game, Okay, here's the folder that I want to install the mod. Open. Okay. Then I just click apply. And you can see it created those mod files. Okay, so that was fairly simple, right? Uh, there's some stuff that you still might need to do. Okay, so installation complete. We can exit out of this. You can also uninstall if you want, but uh, let's just exit out of the program. Okay, and let's try to run Spider-Man. You still need to add the launch options yourself. I did mention this to Spez, so maybe he could fix this. Maybe he could like do this for you in the future updates of the installer. But right now, you still need to add the launch options yourself. So I've added it here. And okay, now let's click play. Let's see what we're getting into. Okay, so you can see the mod is installed. We've got the mod window. Okay, let's go to settings. Upscale method. Okay, we don't have DLSS. So there's one thing you also need to do manually here. So let me just quit out of it. Okay. See this config file? The, I don't know how you pronounce this. T-O-M-L. Tomel file, I don't know, yeah, this one. 
We need to change the fake NVIDIA GPU to true manually right now. Maybe in a future update, Spares will also like fix this. Like you can, it does it automatically with the program. But right now, you need to do it yourself. So just save. And let's run the game again. Okay, so the mod window is here. Okay, now it recognizes my graphic card as a 490, 4090. Okay, settings. Yeah, you can see we can select DLSS super resolution here. Quality, okay, windowed. Okay, so yeah, everything looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go to gaming mode and try out the mod. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, put the sauce in. Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, so Spider-Man Remastered. I'm just going to play it. All the settings for the mod has been done. Okay. Okay. So if you didn't know, Spider-Man Remastered, FSR3 mod, you don't have that UI flickering anymore, all right? It's because, it's because if you go into options, you see here, before we couldn't enable DLSS frame generation, it was grayed out, okay? But now we can. It's because if you realize in the launch options, uh, can I go into launch options? Might not be able to. Uh, yeah, I'll show you later. Okay, so let's just run the game first. Run the game. You'll see that we don't have that ghosting or UI flickering. This game has totally been fixed. So it's the this is the best way to play it on your Steam Deck. See, I'm getting like 80 frames. 70, 80 frames. And no UI flickering. See that? Yeah, it's perfect. So good. I'm on um, DLSS quality. Yeah, I think this is good, like good balance for your Steam Deck. Because the Steam Deck screen only is a 60 hertz refresh rate, so you only really need 60 FPS. All right. So how we fix that? Okay, let me show you. You can see on my launch options you see here at the end i've got minus force reflex markers like you need to add this into your launch options so you can enable the dlss so it won't be grayed out and maybe i'll do a separate video for that but this video is all about the uh, mod installer okay so i hope this video helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you guys in the next one later